The following KQED production was produced in high definition. Hello, I'm Paul Doherty, Senior Staff Scientist at the Exploratorium. And for today's Quest Lab, we're going to be looking at Newton's three laws of motion. So, Newton's first law of motion is that objects at rest tend to remain at rest. He's always asleep. Duh, that's obvious. But objects in motion tend to remain in motion? That's just counterintuitive, because we know on Earth, anytime we start something going, friction's going to stop it moving. And that's what Newton had the brilliance to see, even though he couldn't get rid of friction himself. But I, today, have the tool called a frictionless air puck. By putting air underneath me, I can get rid of friction, and I can show you what Newton visualized way back in the 1600s. It's powered by a battery-operated leaf blower, and it blows air underneath this wooden circle I'm sitting on. The layer of air is very low friction, so I can slide across the ground on the gentlest of push. Newton had a second law as well. And that said that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Well, what does that mean? I've now added a fire extinguisher, and this becomes a rocket motor. When I squeeze the trigger, it will accelerate carbon dioxide that way, and by Newton's law of action and reaction, it will push me the other way. Newton had a third law as well, and that is when you apply a force to an object and there's no friction, then that object will accelerate. When I turn on my rocket motor, it will exert a force on me, and I will start going faster and faster and faster. That is acceleration. From these three laws, we can understand all the motion in the universe, and indeed, how you can drive to the store and get home safely. <laughs>